Welcome back for the last part of One Man's Faith tonight. We're looking at God's ways, and I'm, I'm trying to help you understand that we are to know God's ways, and in doing that, we have to, we have to do what He tells us, not what we think we should do. All right, that's what we've been looking at. We were looking at, you know, the tree of good and evil. Why is good and evil put together on the same tree? Because good is not necessarily an indication of God's way. Look what happened to Eve. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, it was good, that it was a delight to the eye, it was good, it wasn't an evil thing, and that it was desirable to make one wise. All three of those are good things, and yet they were wrong because they weren't God's word, nor His way. Do you see that? And so just because it's good doesn't necessarily mean it's God's way. I talked the other week, I think, about, you know, you apply for a job. You, you apply for two jobs. One of them pays a lot more than the other one. So, you know, we sometimes say, well, it must be God's will that I have this job because it pays more. And yet we haven't asked Him. We haven't sought Him. Just because it pays more doesn't make it good. And so we're not supposed to know good and evil. We're supposed to know God's ways. That's what He wants us to know. She saw that it was good. She had three pros, no cons. And it wasn't his way. It is not what God said to do. It's not whether it's a good decision or a bad decision. If it's not God's decision, it's the wrong decision. That's why we've got to seek God in all that we do. Let him tell you. I believe in many cases. We don't want to know. There's this old adage that says it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. That gets us into trouble. That gets us into trouble. And we would rather try and ask for forgiveness and repent than to say, God, is this what you want me to do? The other side of that, though, is when you do it and it's not God's way, it will fall. It will fall. It can't, it can't continue because God's not behind it. His power and, and His anointing is not on it if it's not His decision to do it. Even if you want to go into the ministry, if that's not where He wants you, then you will have a hard time. And eventually, you'll get out of the ministry and go do something else. See, God doesn't want all of us to be in the ministry. He wants us to be doing the work that He's placed within us. I've talked before about, about the motivational giftings. In Romans 12, it tells us that we're motivated in these seven ways. And that's what God has placed within you. And because of that, there's a direction He wants you to go. And I believe it was Psalm 139 uh, that, I'm going to see if I can read it, to you, read it to you real quick, if I can remember exactly where it was. Thine eyes have seen my unformed substance, and in thy book they were written. The days that were ordained for me, when as yet there was not one of them. Even before you were born, as you were being formed, God wrote you in his book and he says, this is the way you're going to go. Now, he doesn't make you go that way. He'll give you direction. He puts his spirit within you. He excites you to do something and to be a certain way. And he'll give you all the guidance that he can if you'll ask him for it so that you walk the way that he's got for you. That's why I say you're special to him. 
he may want you he may want you to be a teacher so that you can touch kids lives and no one else can touch them but you he may want you to be a doctor not so you can prescribe medicine as much as you have the chance to pray for people to be healed. He may want you to be a lawyer so that you can stand beside people that aren't guilty and yet have fallen into the system. Or to be able to touch people that are in the system, have gone the wrong way, and need to know the right way to go. That's, that's why we've got to understand God's ways. Now, in John, in John um, 14, verse 26, it says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father has sent in my name, He will teach you all things. Do you see that? John 14, 26, the helper will teach you all things. John 16, verse 13, but when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, the Lord speak, he will speak. And he will disclose to you what is to come. You see, we, we've, we've got it within us when we know who God is, when we've accepted Jesus as Lord. The Holy Spirit is there and he teaches you all things, all God's ways. He teaches you. Let's look over at Proverbs chapter 25. Proverbs chapter 25. Uh, let's see, verse 2, I think. Yeah. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings to search them out. See, Neil, he hides things. He hides them so you can find them. It's like Easter eggs. You don't hide them so your kids can't find them. That would be frustrating. He hides them because he wants you to seek after them to find it. Look at uh, Proverbs 2. Proverbs chapter 2. Starting with verse 1. My son, if you will receive my sayings and treasure my commands... If you will receive what I say and treasure my commands, if you will make your ear attentive to my word, if you will, if you will, if you will make, if you will coerce your ears to hear, if you will incline your heart to understand, if you will cry for discernment. You see, it's not for just people who just want to manby-pamby walk through life. You've got a way that God wants you to walk. If you'll cry out for discernment, if you'll lift your voice for understanding, if you will seek her as silver, wisdom, and search for her as for hidden treasures. In other words, if you will seek my ways as much as you seek money, Then, verse 5 says, you will discern the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. For God gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity, guarding the paths of justice, and he preserves the way of his godly ones. Then you will discern righteousness and justice and equity and every good course. If you'll seek after Him, it's a hide and seek thing that we've got going on here. God wants you to know His ways, but He wants you to seek them to find them. 
He's not just going to let you sit back on your couch as a couch potato and he's going to download stuff into you. No. He wants you to seek him, pray, cry out to him, yearn for him, yearn for his way. And he will give it to you. Jeremiah 29, very familiar passage. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for calamity to give you a future and a hope. Memorize that. Put that in your heart. The way that you're going, if it's wrong, if it's leading you down the wrong path, if it's hurting you, if it's hurting those around you, is not God's path. It's not. God knows the plans He has for you. Plans for welfare and not for calamity. Then you will call out to me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Once you understand, he's saying, once you understand that I've got plans for you and I've got your good in mind, then you'll come after me. And if you will, if, verse 13, if you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. If you will seek, you will find. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes and will gather you from all the nations and from all the places that I have driven you. God has good plans for you. He wants you to know what they are, but you've got to seek Him. You've got to go after them. You've got to go after them. Don't frustrate the plans of God. Don't Look at your experience and say, this must be the way it is because this is what I'm experiencing. God is not logical. He's supernatural. And His ways are higher than I, ours. But they are available to us as we seek after Him. That's, that's what He wants. That's what He wants. He wants you to know His ways. He wants you to walk in them because He's got good things for you. I, I want to urge you, seek after God. Seek after His ways. And as you do, He will light the path for you. My word, He says, or Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word. Get into God's word. That's all you need. That's all you need. Father, I pray you would just touch lives. Lord, I pray for healing tonight for those that need it. Lord, for discernment, for knowledge, to know and to walk in your way. Lord, we just love you and we thank you and we praise you and we give you the honor and the glory for what you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God bless you. Have a great week. I'll see you next time, okay?